Okay, so often I'm asked when uh, I help people put coaching programs together, how do I work with people and, out, and, and stop from rambling, just going on and on and on and get sidetracked and not really get anything accomplished? And what I use is a formula that was uh, put together by a gentleman named Sir John Whitmore. Uh, and I'm going to refer to his book called Coaching for Performance. It's an excellent book. I absolutely recommend it. You'll see it in uh, uh, if you look down below this video somewhere, there'll be a, a reference where you can go and find John Whitmore's book. But what I want to do is just briefly introduce you to his formula, and he calls it the GROW formula. So a brief introduction, the GROW formula, the G in GROW stands for goal. You have to have a goal. You have to have a set idea of where it is you're going to go. When I talk about survival travel, you need two specific things, and one of them is you need to know where it is that you're going, and that's a goal. The next one is the R, and that's the reality. So what is the reality? Where are you currently? What's going on in your life? That, in uh, the survival travel analogy that I use, that is where you are. Because you could know where you want to go, but if you don't really have an accurate description of where you are, you're not going to get there. Because if I drop you off somewhere in the middle of a jungle and say, oh, you just need to get to Toronto, and you know where Toronto is, but you have no idea where you are, well, guess what? You're never going to get there. So that's going to be a big problem. Then we're going to move on to the next part of the formula, and that is the O, and the O is options. So it's important to think about options in two ways. First of all, what are you willing to do in order to change your current state, predicament, whatever it has to be in your life, and what are you unwilling to do? Because those two things are going to come into play. There are going to be some uh, certain things, whether for you know moral, ethical, legal reasons, they're things that you simply cannot do in order to move forward. And there's going to be some things that you're absolutely willing to change. And the fo the, uh, the 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 final one is the W, and that is the will, because after we decide what it is that we could do and what it is that we should do in order to keep ourselves from cutting and shooting all over ourselves, we have to decide what it is we actually will do. So the W is will. So just to go over the formula again, we start with setting a goal. Then we find out what the reality actually is. From there we look at what options are available to us and then we decide what it is that we will do. So that's John Whitmore's formula. I promise you that if you actually take the time just to make a couple little notes, try to stay to that formula, you do it a few times, you're going to have some nice guideposts as you work with people through your coaching sessions. So with that, I say take a little time, make a few notes, uh, apply it to your sessions, and uh, like I always say, get busy.